Three Girls Speaks, here to do the Curly Girl tag. I was tagged by Kyla's Mom One, um, and I hadn't had a chance to really sit down and do it, but I really wanted to do it because she's the one who tagged me. And she's such a nice person, so if she tags me, I'll make sure I'll get to the tag as soon as I can. Maybe not as soon as I like, but I'm definitely going to do it because, again, I like tags. So I want to thank her very much for tagging me. Um, I'm going to try to be as brief and direct and honest as I can. So here is the curly girl tag. It's only 10 questions, so you know you got to be brief. I got to be brief anyway because I can talk, 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 talk. So I'm trying not to do that, which I'm doing now. So the first question is, what inspired you to go natural or wear your hair curly? What inspired me was I had been thinking about it for a long time, but it wasn't something I was sure that I really wanted to do until I got here on YouTube. Then I started seeing young ladies with a whole lot of different styles and different products they were using and all the experimentation and I decided I wanted to do it too. Because I wasn't taking care of my hair, I think I said that before, of course I was wearing a perm and I wasn't taking care of it and the type of hair that I have naturally is the same type I had perm dry and always breaking if I didn't take care of it. It was just breaking off so I figured I may as well just cut it. But um, you know, it was a good decision for me and I'm glad I did it. The second question is, who are your favorite curly hair idols? I have a few. Um, one person whose hair I've always loved was Tracy Ellis Ross. I love her thick hair. You cannot deny she has some pretty hair. Esperelda Spaulding, she has very, very, very pretty hair too. I hope I said, did I say her name right? Esperanza. You know who I'm talking about, the young lady who won that Grammy and Justin Bieber's fans are going to beat her up. <laughs> but I like her hair because she has a lot of hair. I would never want to wear my hair like that. I guess someone who's in entertainment, the arts or whatever can get away with it because she has a lot, a lot of hair. But there is someone new whose hair I really, really love. I cannot say her name, but she's an actress. And she is in the latest edition of Essence Magazine. She plays in the movie Pariah, which I wanted to see and haven't seen yet. But I love this young lady's hair. In the movie, I'm not quite sure how she wears it. But the first time I saw her hair and I really liked it, I saw her on the... Oh my goodness, was it... It had to be the NAACP Awards, I think. And she had a very simple style, something that you probably seen a lot. She just had, I think it's the length of her hair and the thickness of her hair. Because I like thick hair. And um, I just like it. I saw her again um, on BET's Hollywood Oscar show. They were talking about up and coming actors and actresses. And she was one of them. And she just had her hair in, a t in twists. And she had it in, in a ponytail. Or probably in an updo or snatchback some kind of way. But some reason I like this young lady's hair. I would love to find out who does her hair. Maybe she does it herself. But I figure since she's appearing in public the way that she is, someone is doing it. And I really, really love it. Like I said, she's in Essence Magazine. The one with um, our girl Kerry Washington on the cover. Look her up. I cannot say her name. She has an African name. But her hair, I love her hair. She is definitely my new natural hair idol. I have not seen her hair out. I don't know. I just like her hair. She does simple things, things that we've seen all the time, but for some reason I really, really liked her hair when I saw her on the NAACP Awards. And all she had was maybe like a little ponytail to the side over here. And um, she has kinky hair like mine. And she had maybe like a little roll in the front going to the side or something. I'm not really sure, but if you get a chance, look it up. And number three is, which YouTube curly would you trade curls with for a day? Now, I want to thank Kyla's mom one for, she always talks about my hair. And right now, it does look crazy because I twisted it last night. And, you know, some big um, twists. And I don't like doing my hair this way. 
it does not look the way that I would like it to, but I just left it this way. I figured when it comes to natural hair, you can play with it, um, make it neat and uniform or just wild and crazy and all over the place. And that's pretty much what I got here all over the place, which is cool with me. I like it, so I'm going to run with it. But the person I would love to choose, there are two people. Kyla's mom, one, I do like her hair. I, I like her hair a lot because... When you have thick hair like mine, I don't know. She has a daughter who has thick hair like mine, so she knows what I mean when I say this takes work. And to me, when your hair is finer, and I hope she'll understand. To me, it seems like when your hair is finer, you don't have to do as much detangling, um, combing, knots. I don't know. But I, I do like her hair. But one person whose hair I would love to have for one day, and that's Shari J on... What's her channel? 160 Days to Lose. Now, why I like her hair is because she tries a lot of different styles that I like. Now, she can do the style and then we'll trade hair. Because I'd rather for her to do the style and then she can give it to me. But I like her hair because of the versatility that I see as far as styling. I would trade with her for a day. Yeah, that I would do. The fourth question is, if you could have only one product for a year, which product would you choose? I really couldn't tell you because I don't really experiment with a lot of different products. Um, I do have some things I haven't tried yet. I don't know why I bought them a long time ago and stick them in a the stash. I think that's a mental problem, but I'll work it out some kind of way. But I think if I had to say something that I use now, I'm going to say Shea Butter. Because I think that, um, like when I, I twist my hair most of the time, um, and I find with the shea butter, it really, really keeps my hair moisturized, um, at least for about four days before it starts really getting dry. But I say that to say, when it comes to twisting, I think it does me justice. I don't need any additional um, creams or anything, even though I want to try it and see how it comes out in addition to the shea moisture. The shade, but I should say. But I think right now, that is a product that I would um, use for a year. If I had to use only one, that would definitely be it. Question number five says, if you could change one thing about your curls, what would it be? Hmm. Well, the one thing I think I would change about my hair, I'll say, um, would be that it wouldn't be so tightly coiled. Now, I'm going to tell you, I really do like my hair. I love my hair. I love the things that I can do with it. Um, but when it's so tightly coiled, it gets tangled a lot. It dries out a lot. And to me, it needs more care. Um, I really should be washing my hair at least twice a week to keep the moisture and stuff in it. But I can't do that. That's excessive to me. Well, it's not excessive, but it's just more time than I have. If I ever get rich and I have a young lady come in twice a week and she can wash my hair and play with it. Because I love people to do my hair always have and that's one thing I do miss is having someone do my hair I love it so when Kyla's mom says that she would like to play in my hair for a day she can play with it but it has to be on my head she can definitely play with it because I love that yes I do what's the craziest thing you've tried on your natural hair journey washing it and not detangling i did that twice and that was the worst thing in the world i think in the last video i did i mentioned that i washed my hair and i didn't detangle it when i washed my hair a couple of days later all my hair felt like straw i felt so bad it just i mean why did i do that i washed it and i didn't feel well and i didn't feel like doing anything else to it but i know i should not have done it but i did and um, I said I'm not going to do it again, but I most likely will. But that is definitely the most craziest thing that I've done, I have to say right now. Or maybe even cutting my hair with household scissors. <laughs> you can look at that video. Um, it's up for you guys when I say I look crazy because I did. Not crazy because of my hair. Crazy because I looked at myself and all the weight that I gained. Okay, that's another story. We're we'll going to get into that. What's your secret ingredient that your curls love the most? I don't care. Water. Water. I can wash my hair. Do whatever I want to do to it. I'm telling you, on the seventh day, I could put more stuff in it. But, it, no. I have got to put water in my hair. Water is the ultimate moisturizer. I don't care what anybody says. I could put moisturizing 
moisturizers, oils, and all that stuff in my hair for two weeks straight, my hair will be dry as hell. But if I wash it on the seventh day, then the eighth day, the ninth day, the tenth day, it feels so good. Like today is Wednesday, and I washed my hair on Sunday, and it feels really, really nice right now. Um, by Friday, it'll be dry. And I don't want to put more product on top of it because it will still be dry. It won't feel like I want my hair to feel after I wash and condition it and deep condition it. So I'm going to have to say right now, water. Without water, I may as well just cut my hair off. Mm. If you could merge two brands of products to make your perfect product, which two would it be? Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, what can I say right here? Will I still say um, water and shea butter? Because I really don't know. Like I said, I don't use a lot of products. I bought some, but I haven't even used them yet. I bought quite a few shea moisture products. I have used it. I bought some um, Miss Jessie's. I haven't used all. I've only used one. And that's um, the curly pudding. And oh, but I use the sweet back treatment, which is good. I like that. And I use the buttercream, but I only use it just to um, moisturize my hair during the day, you know, in the morning when I go out. So this one is a hard one. Hmm. Right now, I'm going to say water and shea butter. I don't know how that will work, but. Um, yeah, I think I'll I'll say that. And I use shea butter every week and water, of course, when I wash my hair. And to me, it does my hair pretty good. I have no complaints there. My hair loves shea um, butter and it definitely loves water. Number nine is what is your go-to hairstyle when you're in a rush? Hmm. I've been homesick for quite some time, so I really haven't had to be anywhere in a rush. So right now I'm going to have to say I don't have a in a rush hairstyle. With my hair being so thick and it, say if it wasn't done, I don't know what a rush hairstyle would be because my hair could be so thick I can't get a hat on it because it would be boofy um, if it's out. I don't, I've never combed my hair dry, N never combed my, never combed my hair dry since it's been natural because I felt that, um, I just want to, you know, not manipulate it so much, so I haven't done it at all. I don't know. I don't have a go-to hairstyle. But when it gets longer, I'm going to say maybe my hair, my go, my rush style will be. Remember back in the day when we used to corn roll our hair, to, you know, this way? You corn roll it, and then you do something in the back? I think something like that would be a go-to rush style for me. But right now, I don't have one. Never been in the rushes. I've been natural. Lucky me. If your curly hair had a name, what would it be and why? Hmm. I forgot about this one. But if my curly, curly, kinky hair, I, you know what I would name her? Princess. That's the first thing that came to my mind. And why do I say princess? It's because my hair to me is very very special. We have all, especially as black women, been through some things with our hair. I've never disliked my hair natural. It's just that maybe like about 12 or 13 when I started wearing a perm. Um, that's all that I knew. And once or twice when I've grown the perm out of my hair, I liked my hair. I didn't have a problem with it. It's just that it was just so much to work with and I didn't want to spend that type of time. But right now I don't mind pampering princess. You know, um, trying new things because I haven't tried many products. But I definitely, definitely have to say I really do feel my hair is um, very special to me. So why not Princess? I'll probably come up with a better name than that. If I do, I'm definitely going to add it in another video. But that was the first name that came to my mind. So I'm going to call it Princess um, because it's part of the royal me. <laughs> I don't know, that just sounds corny as hell. But I'm going to use it, and that's what I'm going to run with, and I'm going to leave it like that. So, I think I've answered all ten questions the last time, or one of the other hauls I did. 
not holes, tags I did. I have been drinking some nice wine here at home and I forgot one of the questions. If I forgot it and there's something that you need to know, then I'll come across it in another video. But I think I got them all. And I want to show you guys. Look at my earrings. Remember these? These are the ones that um I got from Sweet Georgia Browning. I don't know if you had a chance to go check her out. But remember, check her out. You know, see what she has. I like these earrings an awful lot. I think they are so nice and simple. And one thing I like about them, they are not very heavy. Even though no matter what you put in your hole, the hole is always going to drop down. But I really, really do like these earrings. They are just so cute. I can't, I can't wait for the summer. But that's my curly girl tag. And I'm just tagging anybody who sees this video. I hope that you um, keep it going, keep it going. Once again, thank you Kindless Mom 1 for tagging me. And I am going to end this video now. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do. My son wants me to bake a chicken. A whole chicken, y'all. I don't feel like doing it. But I may. He'll sniff it up in a minute because that boy can eat. But, um... I thank you for stopping to watch this video, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. And I just want to say to you all, share and spread love. See ya.